Okay, so let's get into this look, you guys. So usually I would apply primer directly to the skin um, before applying my foundation, but this time I kind of wanted a luminous glow, like that after under glow, my foundation. So I actually ended up applying luminous foundation, um, sorry, primer with my foundation just to give my foundation a little bit of a um, of a glow and then using this duo fiber brush in small little circular motions to apply a thin layer to my face um i do want to let you guys know that this foundation um doesn't match me like at all it's it's close but it's definitely my winter color and i recorded this in the beginning of summer and so um I didn't realize that it didn't match me when I was applying it. Also, it's really, really late when I'm um, creating this look and I am watching Harry Potter um, uh, in the background. Um, it was my first time watching the Harry Potter series ever and I was, I'm in love, number one, and also um, I wasn't really paying so much attention. So it wasn't until I got to post that I realized my foundation color was off and I was like, oh my gosh, do I either release the video, try to re-record it, or scrap it all together? I realized I won't be able to recreate the look, but I loved it so much and I thought I would just instead just give this disclaimer in the um, kind of in the front of the video that... I know my foundation does not match you guys so just letting you know now with um, Tarte's shape tape I'm going to apply the concealer kind of down my nose and then also at an angle at the outer corner of my eye and then blend it out with a beauty blender and I know the biggest thing is to kind of like put a dot in the inner corner and then blend it that way um, but I think I kind of wanted that triangle look underneath my eye and also the lift on the outer corner so that's why I applied the concealer the way that I did Now with a powder brush, I'm gonna set the concealer in place with Ben Nye's Banana Luxury Powder. And I'm just gonna place this everywhere I applied that brightening concealer. Um, I actually like to use this technique. This technique is new for me. I usually use a puff and kind of press it in um, for much more of a um, fuller coverage. But for every day, I really like the lightness of just dusting the powder on. Um, and just letting it sit there instead of the whole idea of baking. Now I'm gonna to transition to brows. I'm gonna use this um, cork lip liner um, and you see how it just doesn't really like look like my col the color of my brows and that's because I'm kind of coloring in the background like the skin up behind my brow hair just so that it kind of creates the shape and looks fuller without um, looking kind of like a block of eyebrows so it just makes it to look more um, natural by using kind of three-dimensional colors then I'm going to switch to my second color which is a deeper brown color and apply this to the head of my brow and then um, with an angle brush I'm going to use a product in a color that matches my brow color exactly especially to extend the tail of my brow so that it looks very very natural started to bronze my skin and this definitely made the foundation issue even worse um, so uh, definitely don't do this but I just wanted to kind of walk you through the process that I did um, and I love to over bronze but when it matches my skin tone given the season but this time it didn't so 
here we are. On to my favorite eye look. Um, this eye look is very sexy, very sultry, um, can take a little time. So it's really great for like a kind of a special occasion when you want to take a little bit of extra time to do your makeup. Um, but it kind of looks like natural glam, really very bumped up. I wouldn't say natural, but it's very dramatic without kind of the smoky eye or anything like that. So um, first I'm starting off with a very small brush and I'm using this deep kind of aubergine purple color and I'm drawing out and kind of carving out my crease and I'm looking straight into the mirror to do this and I'm just drawing a straight line. And then from the straight line, you guys, I'm kind of... Um, flickering up the eyeshadow to make it just a little bit thicker. So first I make the line and then with the same brush, I just kind of pull the eyeshadow up just a little bit just to kind of um, create width in the line. Next with a blending brush, I'm gonna take a brown that is slightly darker than my skin tone and run it along that um, cut crease um, that was created um, above my um, top lid. With another crease brush, I'm gonna take a brown that actually matches my skin tone in order to blend out that um, other crease. So I'm just kind of blending out now and softening that cut crease so that it looks very, very natural. Y'all, if you guys see me keep, like stopping and keep looking over to the side, it's because that Harry Potter movie is so good. I watched all of them. I don't know what number I am at when I'm filming this video, but um, I don't. I literally do not know where I was as a teenager when um, they all came out. Like I feel like my generation just was all over it and waited for the books and all that stuff, and I was like. I don't know where I was, but I missed the whole like movement. And so I just kind of wanted to watch it to find out what house I was in and all this stuff, just so that I could have the conversation. But I ended up like really, really falling in love with Harry Potter. Now I'm gonna take this light peachy color that kind of is a little lighter than my skin tone and press it on the eye primer that I applied on the bottom half underneath that um, original cut crease on my lid. After that, the eyeshadow application is kind of done. Um, so then I'm going to apply an eyeliner pencil in black on the top of the lid. And in the beginning, when I first start, I'm holding my eye open a little bit just so that the eyeliner kind of gets very, very, very close to the tear duct and kind of goes in a little bit, kind of underneath the tear duct so that um, the line kind of looks like a, a little bit of an incline um, as I'm applying it. And the farther it goes along my eye, it kind of uh, grows a little bit wider. one of the smallest brushes that I have and one that's kind of like it's a smudger brush but also that it's kind of a stiff brush I'm going to run this along the eyeliner really really close to the eyeliner just so that it kind of blurs it out and softens it just a little bit um, this eyeliner is also known to dry so if that happens I'll just pick up a little bit of um, either dark gray or black eyeshadow and run it along the eyeliner just to kind of give the illusion that it softened even though I wasn't able to move it because this eyeliner does um, dry a little bit but with a little bit of pressure um, I end up just kind of smoking out that outer wing and kind of dragging the color up a little bit to um, drag out that outer wing just a little bit so just to reiterate I applied liner all the way to the end of my eyeline but with what's left on the brush I kind of um, after smudging it I kind of kind of created that wing on the outer corner just so that it's very very soft and um, wearable without being too dramatic then after applying black liner to my bottom lid um, on the waterline I'm going to apply a little bit of liner along the bottom lashes only on the outer I would say about um, two-thirds of the eye 
So I take the waterline all the way in, but then on underneath that waterline along my bottom lashes, I only apply it two thirds of the way in. This way it kind of maintains that almond shape. Then I go back to that smudger brush and smudge out really the only outer two thirds of the liner, only the bottom liner that is um, through my bottom lashes. And I try to keep this as close to my bottom lid as possible. If I go any lower, it's just gonna kind of make it look like it's very smoky and it's gonna make my eye look big and you kind of get that um, black eye effect. And that's not what I want. I want kind of more of a rimmed eye effect. So I wanna keep this eyeliner very, very, very close and then connect it on that outer wing and really pull up that outer wing because that's gonna make that um, my eyes look much more lifted. Okay, so now we are out of the hardest part of this look. Um, and now we're just going to apply some mascara to the top lashes and then finish off the rest of the face. I did end up putting a strip of thin false eyelashes just for some length um, with this look, but I don't think that you have to um, to complete the look. But I thought it was, um, it was needed and I, I love any excuse to apply a false lash anyway. Then I took a beauty blender and applied some highlighter to the apple of my uh, cheek and then blended up in um, at an angle pretty much where the highlighter um, concealer was. Um, so it just kind of created just much more of a luminous effect. So I and then I applied whatever was left on my um, beauty blender to my chin. Then to finish off the look, I applied this lip gloss directly to my lips without any um, lip liner or lipstick or anything like that. And that's the look, you guys. Thanks for staying with me as I just kind of played in makeup and saw what came out. Um, if you guys like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you'd like to see some more videos of playing in makeup and seeing what happens, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.